Our first lesson is on place value. We have some vocabulary words to start. The first one is digit. Digit is a symbol used to write a whole number. The symbols that we use are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Our second vocabulary word is place value. Place value is the value given to a digit by its place in a number. Here is part of a place value chart. We have ones, tens, hundreds, then thousands, ten thousands, and hundred thousands. If I have a digit such as two and I put it in the ones place value, then I have two ones, which means the value of that digit is two. If I put the same digit of two in the tens place value, then I have two tens. So now that two is two tens, which equals twenty. So same digit, but different values depending on where they are. If I keep the same digit of two, and I put it in the hundreds place value, then I have two hundreds, which would be a value of two hundred. And we could keep doing this all the way through. Let's just do one more. If I put the two in the thousands, then I have two thousands. Without continuing, you can see the pattern, I'm sure. Our answer goes from two to twenty to two hundred to two thousand. Each time, adding one zero, in every spot we move over to the left, it becomes ten times greater than the one before it. Here is my first example problem. I have a number of 127,438. The question I'm going to answer is what place is the underlined digit in? And then I need to write its value. So the two is in the ten thousands place. And if we have two ten thousands, then the value of that two would be twenty thousand. For my second example, I need to first write seven in the tens place. Write five in the thousands place. So we find the thousands. Put in my five. Third, I need to write an eight in the ones place. So that's there on the very right. And last of all, I need to write a three in the hundreds place. And then I add my comma there between the five and the three and there I have my number. Now we're going to have you try a couple. First of all, I want you to figure out what place is the underlined digit in and then I want you to write its value. Go ahead and pause this and then unpause it to check your answer. Okay, here are the answers. The place of the underlying digit is the hundreds, and its value, since it's in the hundreds, would be two one hundreds, which is two hundred. 
One more problem for you to do. Write a 2 in the tens place. Write a 7 in the hundreds place. Write 5 in the thousands place. Write 4 in the ten thousands place. And then write a 3 in the ones place. Once again, pause this until you've written, written it down, and we'll check your work. Okay, you should have gotten 45,723. These next problems you're going to bring to class tomorrow, and we will check and talk about them there. Question number one. What place is the underlined digit in? And then write its value. You may need to pause this again. And then when you're done, move on to the next problem. Problem number three, write a seven in the hundreds place. Four, write six in the ones place. Five, write eight in the thousands place. Six, write two in the hundred thousands place. Seven, write five in the tens place. And your last part of the day is to write one in the ten thousands place. Hopefully you understand place value a little bit more. We'll continue to work on it tomorrow. Have a great day, and thank you for listening.